I'm Natural Smarty. Come along in this creature feature where I cover the natural history on one species at a time. North America is home to 56 of the world's 300 species of turtle. There is a giant inhabiting the fresh waters of the Midwest. It is the snapping turtle. Let's meet one. Booyah, look at this recently hatched giant. Well, not quite yet, but this could grow into a 35 pound beast of a reptile, which is pretty hefty for this part of the world. So this one probably hatched last year and it could have hatched out of one of 80 eggs. So it recently awoke from brumation. That's what other cold-blooded critters are waking up from right now. And the turtle can actually do something pretty extraordinary. It's called extra pulmonary respiration. It can actually pull oxygen right through the mud in through these membranes on its throat. And that's what it can do through the winter because if it's burying itself in mud and underground or maybe even at the bottom of ponds, it's not gonna be able to breathe that oxygen that all reptiles need. Let me pick you up, let's take a closer look. Look at the back here, the top shell, it's called the carapace. It has three lines from front to back. So one, two, three. And that's one of the features that helps you identify, whoops, a common snapping turtle. All right, and it's Chalidra serpentina. That's its scientific name. Now that carapace could grow up to 10 to 20 inches long. Again, a very, very big reptile for this part of the world. The males, even bigger. And I do believe this is a male because I see that long back tail. That's how you can tell if it's a male from female. It does have a really long and strong neck. And that gets at the specific epithet of its Latin name, the serpentina part, because it means a snake wife. This critter's at the top of the food chain. And when it's an adult, does not have a single predator. Well, aside from humans. It's technically a scavenger though. So even though it, it's considered a predator, I could say that, that its carnivorous tendencies are a little exaggerated. So it's an omnivore and it's even a scavenger. And it's really helpful in ecosystems. So look for these in streams and shallow ponds, basking on logs or just sticking their nostrils straight out of the water's surface. That's a little thing I call a snorkeling adaptation. But if you do see an adult, please enjoy it at a distance. Handling is not advised. You know, this stage, it's not a problem, but those bites can be quick and strong, you know, as that common name implies. Common snapping turtle. 